previously on Minecraft Story Mode. The Admin, a villain who can become anyone with a wave of his hand. How do you face a foe who's never exactly as he seems? Do you hide who you really are? Not everyone can face a trickster head on. Some join him. Others put on a brave face, even when they're scared. No matter what, encountering that kind of evil changes you. It can turn you into... a hero? Or something else. If there's a lesson to be learned, it's be careful when you get close to an admin. You never know what might happen if you dig too deep. Don't worry, everyone. This is just like the time I jumped from the cliffs of the Powell. Only, uh... Ah, uh, who am I kidding? This is nothing like that. Thanks again for not leaving him behind. Though, let's be honest. No way you'd pick some llama over Nermi here. She's not just some llama. Luna's back there all alone. Probably scared. I just hope Luna is okay. Yeah, me too. She'll be fine. Look, she's an animal. She's got survival instincts. Wow, you were right. There's a whole world down here. The first world, created by us, Romeo, Fred, and me. I haven't seen it since I was imprisoned, before he bedrocked over it all. You made this? Not this. This shadow. The view from up here. It used to be beautiful. It would be hard to see your world like this. How long have you been gone, exactly? No idea. It's hard to keep track of the time in maximum security. Long enough for the world to change. I knew what Romeo planned to do. But still... Seeing it like this. Romeo? The admin. Oh! It's worse than I imagined. This is the room where he killed Fred. I watched it happen. We refused to join him and... It was... Slow. He needs to be stopped. That's why we're here. He hurt you, and he'll hurt more people. I wonder if he had a heart at all. Or... He was just a monster, pretending to play along. Fred's keep is that way. Want to defeat Romeo? The weapon's in there. That sounded vaguely ominous. Is that...? See? Romeo never could leave well enough alone. He liked toying with the basic order of things. It would be great if I could go one day, just one day, without seeing something new and completely terrifying! So that thing is another admin-created monstrosity. Time to move, guys. Not in the eyes, Mara. Don't look at its eyes. Oh, sorry, Jesse. I don't know what happened. It was just hypnotic. So big and glowy. Go, go. Going. Ah! 
Thanks. Dismantling the tower. The town isn't far from here. I'll lead the way. Red's keep lies just on the other side, and we'll have some cover from that thing. Wait, what? D do you guys see? Jesse, we've got to go. Not asking for me, cause cause I'm tough. Whatever. Our defenses are impressive. State of the art machinery, automated farming. The oasis is a completely self-sustaining city. It's home. What? What happened to it? Are you okay? Wow, you kinda oversold this one. This place looks terrible. I... I didn't know. It was... beautiful. It was... Wait. This is your town? What has he done to it? Hang on. I just... need to see if it's still here. We have to keep moving. No telling what the admin is up to in Beacon Town. And they'll all think it's me. Oh, Nermi, Nermi, it's okay. Come here, pal, it's okay. Are you guys okay? Nerm here was poking around and found a llama blanket, and, um... It made him think of Luna. <laughs> Nermi, no. Come on, pal. No. Hey, we're gonna see Luna again. You should hang on to that blanket and give it to her when we do. Hmm? Yeah. Hey. Yeah. Thanks, Jesse. Years without sleep! Years! <laughs> Only rest is at home. Won't rest until I get there, I said! Zara? <laughs> Look! At... this! My bed! Come on! She's freaking out about a bed? Really? Could she be any more melodramatic? <laughs> wow. Maybe we should help her. Be my guest. I'm staying as far away from her throwing arm as possible. Ditto! I just wanted to sleep. I thought if I could find this one thing, one last thing still whole, there's no hope for this place. I'll never get it back now. He made sure. I know you're upset, but you can sleep once we've defeated the admin. That has to come first. So simple for you. I was not dried out. 
stuck open. Gross. Zara, what are you doing over here by this, uh... It's a portal. What? The portal. Broken now like everything else. Just leave me here. Go. Don't lose hope, okay? We can still do this, if you help us. I doubt that. But what about the portal? Where does it go, anyway? Nowhere, obviously. It's broken. We built these so we could visit each other. An object in the frame would teleport you to the owner. My idea, by the way. Though Romeo took credit for it. Fred wanted to add the birch. He loved birch. So you'd know how to rebuild it. And get us up to the admin. I don't know if I can. Come on, Zara. If you built it once, you can build it again. You're the best inventor in the... underneath. Probably the only inventor now. Even... better? I don't get it. How do you keep going? Look where you are, but you're still fighting. Why? The admin hurt the people I care about. Nobody gets away with that. Nobody. So I'm finding Fred's weapon and taking him down. Fine. It won't work without a personal object. Something with a strong bond to Romeo to take us right to him. Though an object crafted on the surface could do in a pinch. Let me worry about finding an object for the portal. You just focus on getting it running. Follow the tracks. They'll lead you to Fred's keep. Whatever Fred found, he hid it at home. That's what he told me. Jesse! Go. I'll see what I can do. Zara said to follow the tracks to Fred's keep. That's where we'll find the weapon. Kind of useless, unless we can find a way out of here. Can't exactly go back up through that prison. Zara's got it covered. Oh, great. Just what this place needed. Run on ahead! I never say no to a little gunpowder. Close one. Fred, keep! Here we come! Uh, Jesse? Oh, no. Who made eye contact with the Enderman? I'm sorry. It's okay. We're still okay, so long as it doesn't do that. Everybody jump! Jack! I'm okay! No! Need to stop saying that! You two are in a bit of a pinch, ain't ya? Smell like a couple of admin lackeys to me. AKA trouble. Definitely smells like admin. You don't know what an admin smells like. I'm Jesse. Hi. And this is Jack. Really? You're seriously making introductions right now? Scavenging these lands since the darkness fell. You know what? We can sniff out an outsider when we sniff one. So what are you doing all the way down here, small fry? You lost? We're here to take down the admin. 
<laughs> You're kidding. You can't even make it off this gravel cliff by yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we help you. Maybe we just walk away. Leave you here to die. The first one. Pick the first one. I don't know. Seems like a lot of work. Getting down there. Pulling you up. Help us and we may surprise you? When's the last time you met someone new down here? Not a fan of surprises, especially since the last one. Things do get pretty boring down here, though. Yeah. Oops. Down here, we don't do anything for free. Can't really blame us, what with the giant monsters and nothing growing. So, how about we take your inventory for a spin? Permanently! We're really interested in any weaponry you may have. <sighs> A warrior without their sword in a place like this is dead meat! Your friend doesn't look like he's gonna last much longer. What'll it be? Don't do it, Jesse. We can find another way. Your swords? Or splat! Flatter than a lily pad at the bottom of this canyon. Yeah, <laughs> splat. Ooh. Come on, come on. Just uh, gotta get some leverage. <clears throat> Unlike the eagles there, I can do this all day! Here! And one more makes two. Fine, but pull me up first. Nasty fall. Thank you. Those are fine blades. Oh, now I'm being rude. The name's Porkchop. And this here's my crew. The toughest scavengers you'll ever have the pleasure of meeting. Hiya. Sup. Best be careful as you get on your way. You're looking a little squishy. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, though, watch out. <laughs> Never know when a cliff will just... Jump out at ya! <laughs> Boo. <laughs> Boo! You got me! <laughs> Thanks for your help. Thanks for this beauty! Oh, and, uh, make sure to keep your pockets stocked for next time, alright? <laughs> oh. One last piece of advice? Keep your eyes peeled. You're not alone down here. Yeah, squeakies! Great, let's go. Jesse, Jack, are you okay? I've been better. What are you doing? Where's your sword? Um, uh, come on. Stupid scavengers, stupid cliffs. This never would have happened Okay, if... that's it. What happened up there? Oh, we got shaken down by a couple of scavengers, and they took our swords. Well, at least you're okay, right? <sighs> I guess. Just haven't felt this pathetic since... Well, it's been a long time. Now we've got nothing to protect us against a normal Enderman, let alone a giant one. Well, I mean, it's not the first time we've been seemingly defenseless. Hey, I did it to save your life, Jack. I had it taken care of. You were hanging off of a cliff. <laughs> well, uh, I mean, I, you know, I... I guess this is how they keep the mobs out. We come in peace. We're not gonna hurt you, I promise. 
We've been told that before. Fred, Fred, Fred believed it. Then he was stabbed in the back. Now what? I've never seen you before, and, and I know everyone, everyone in the underneath. Inta! She's not coming back, is she? Someone in there has to know where that weapon is. Let's go. Careful. They might be well armed, and now they know we're coming. Have been returned. Festivities will close with the fireworks display as usual. And don't forget to sign up for our Faithful Friends of Fred trivia competition for a chance to win one night in Fred's house. Come on, people. We can't let Kent win every time, can we? Study up. Competition starts at Fred o'clock. Why did I say that? They're having a trivia contest? Doesn't that seem a little silly? Silly? They're trapped underground with a bunch of monsters, including a giant freaking Enderman. Hey, we just got here. We have no right to judge them. Okay, sorry. I think it's kind of nice. Welcome to Fred's Keep. My name is Binta. This is the part where you tell me why you're here. We're looking for a weapon that belonged to Fred. It's supposed to be hidden in his home. Maybe we could take a look? Fred's house is sacred. And locked. No one enters unless they win the contest. No one. It's how we honor Fred. Even I only enter through its doors on special occasions. Most of my townspeople have never even been inside. Okay, let's do some trivia then. <laughs> That's the spirit. I wasn't sure an outsider would understand. Fred built this place, made it safe from all the monsters out there. This is his legacy, his final request. The door stays locked until someone wins. You're welcome to try your luck. See how well you know Fred. I don't know him very well at all. I, I've never met him. Guess you better start researching. Good luck. This place is weird. So... So you're the one. The one who thinks they can beat me as a faithful friend of Fred. Hey, dude. And I'll tell you something, stranger. I am the most faithful friend of Fred, which means I always win. And that means you will lose. So good luck. I don't even know what to do with that one. Hi, um... Oh, you want to know something about Fred? Uh, yeah, actually. How did you... His favorite tool? A diamond hoe. That's why I use two. And why I take farming my mushrooms super, super seriously. For serious. Cool. Yeah, sure. Makes sense. Uh, bye. What are you up to? Uh huh. Uh, uh, oh. Just trying to figure out if, if there's a better way into Fred's house than, well, studying. Just in case. Hey, um, Jesse? Yeah? Do you think Radar still thinks. I don't know. Uh, I feel like everyone's looking at me differently. You noticed it too, right? He's being weird with me. Like, like he thinks I'm still. still with the admin or something. Hey. I know you better than anyone, right? You're still the same Petra you've always been. <laughs> Hard-headed? <laughs> Thanks, Jesse. That makes me feel better. Just had to, you know, make sure I wasn't the only one who noticed. Poor thing had no chance of growing down here. Might still be useful, though.
Nice. Ah, there you are. Are you ready to begin? Uh, not quite yet. You are... Wow, you are really cute! Oh man, you are a serious fetch artist. Oh, you're a good dog. You're a good dog. Go get it. So that's Fred, huh? Let me guess, Fred liked to paint with his feet? Nope. <laughs> Hurt my painting hands going out into the wilds beyond the keep. Nasty stuff out there. Should have listened. Not safe to wander. That's why no one ever leaves. Taught myself to paint like this. But these old dogs aren't up to crafting. How about we make a trade? You craft me a canvas, and I'll tell you Fred's favorite color. You know, I got some wool, but not enough sticks. You'll have to find some more to get it done. Get that done, prompt-like! <laughs> I'm on a roll, and this one's almost finished! You got it. That canvas done? Uh, not yet. Don't you waste those resources I gave you. Sacrificed my hands to get them. I don't have enough materials to make anything. Hey there, I'm looking for information about Fred. Well, this here was Fred's cherished pet. But you'll never guess his name. Never! You stay in there now. Don't want that dog getting you now, do we? How can I get him to call out that chicken's name? Hey there, little guy. I got a game for you. Okay, you see that chicken? He loves playing chase. Go get him. Dog? What are you... Oh, no! Waffles! Waffles, come back! Come back! Waffles, huh? Fine, you got me. It's Waffles, all right. Chicken could never make a decision. Poor fella. You guys find anything useful? Mm -hmm. Keep up the good work. The Creepers never even stood a chance. The leader of Dresh Najel Valley was not an emotional man. But that day, that day, he shed a tear. That's one way to gather information, I guess. Like 
water in a bucket ha, becomes the bucket. Nice moves, Radar. You've been practicing. Uh -huh. Well, thanks. I didn't know you were... Uh, just want to be ready. Anyway, the Oasis and Fred's Keep are all, you know, kind of broken. But I wonder what this place looked like before. Bet it was amazing. The admin's not going to do this to Beacon Town, is he? We have no idea what he's doing up there. It could be all gone, and we'd have no idea. If he does anything to Beacon Town, then I'm going to be the one to make him pay. You're, uh, kind of scary sometimes. In a good way. Look, if there's one thing I learned in the Slammer, it's that I have to keep my body ready for anything. Uh, one, uh, two, uh, and a half. <sighs> Could get some sticks from this thing. Definitely use these. Please, please, don't hurt me, stranger. I did what you asked. Yeah, okay, don't freak out. I'm backing away, nice and non threatening. Time to make a painting. Here you go, all done. It's just lovely. I am going to paint this Fred's favorite color. Not just any blue. Lapis blue. Lapis blue. Oh, same color as my underwear. Mine too. <laughs> Are you ready to begin? I'm ready. Let's do this. It's about time. Attention, everyone! Let all faithful friends of Fred gather, for our competition begins now! Gather round, everyone! Will the contestants please take the stage? Please welcome reigning champion, Kent! And we have a challenger! Uh... Jesse. It's Jesse. Jesse! That feeling of intimidation? Totally normal. I have that effect on people. Come from being the best. What a pinnacle of intellectual fortitude! Kent! Be my best friend! May the most faithful friend of Fred win. Oh, I will. For our first question, I thought we'd mix it up a little. I challenge you to build a faithful representation of our dear Fred. Yeah! Jesse's the best at building! Not the time, Radar. Begin!
Nice. Yes, yes, yes! Jesse, it's as if you've known Fred his whole life. What? How can you say that? That... that thing looks nothing like our fallen leader. Fred's true spirit didn't lie with his exterior, Kent. But what was underneath? This is his true essence. Though... I must give you points for accuracy. Such... painstaking detail. I declare this round... a draw! Yeah, what? Yeah. This was quite possibly the best presentation of Fred's in the history of our competition. Now for the questions. Kent, you will go first. Of course. Remember, you have a limited time to answer. What was Fred's favorite food? Oh, that's easy. Any truly faithful friend would know that Fred enjoyed bread. Correct! Now you, Jesse. Fred was a loyal fan of the color blue. We all know that. But what kind of blue did he love the most? Your time begins now. Come on, Jesse, you can do this. His favorite color was lapis blue. That is correct. Well done. Next question. Kent, Fred was a man of simple means, but he had one point of excess. His favorite tool. What was it? A diamond hoe. Obviously. Very good! Jesse, Fred had a constant companion. A fine, feathery friend. What was that pet's name? We actually met a chicken named Benedict once. <laughs> really? Fred's pet, his best friend, was named Waffles. For the way he was always... waffling. That is correct! Jesse, well done! I am rather astounded that the competition continues to be this close. Kent, you might finally lose your title. Listen closely, both of you. The final question is one that only the most faithful friend to Fred could possibly know. As such, it is worth double. Whoever answers this question correctly first will win one night in Fred's house. Of all the trees in the forest, of all the wood we once built our homes with, this was Fred's favorite. What was it? Wait, what? Uh, no one knows that. Uh, Fred didn't play favorites with resources. Ah, but that's where you're wrong. But, but, uh, I, I... Time's running out. We need an answer. Oh, oh. Didn't Zara say something about this? Could have been jungle or birch. I don't. Fred liked the classics. Oak was his favorite. That is incorrect. Kent, your answer. Uh, um, birch. Yes, birch was Fred's favorite. Kent wins again. What do we do now? I have an idea. Oh, Fred. Let's go. <laughs> oh, even his snore makes him sound like a know-it-all. You go ahead. I'll keep watch. Time to find that weapon. The foundation. Whoa, half the pages are gone. And the rest, there are a lot of notes.
Whoa, secret room. There's got to be something down here. I know I had my doubts, but it was worth leaving home. I'm glad I had Zara and Romeo with me. That... this is Fred's journal. I don't know what Romeo wants anymore. It hurts. All I wanted was the three of us together. Maybe we should have never left the cabin. We weren't just happy there. We were home. Wait. Home. And he wasn't talking about here. There's got to be something in here that says where this cabin is. This book contains the collective knowledge of the survivors. We're an underground group of survival experts who have been around since the early days. Yeah, it goes on. Signed by the chief. Three towns, there's the oasis there, and the keep. Third is... Romeoburg. Seriously? What kind of name is Romeoburg? No cabin, though. Nothing else in here. Maybe the others found something. We think we know a way to defeat the admin. Uh, Romeo. I haven't heard that name in... You can't stop him. Although you clearly believe you can. <sighs> Maybe my people were right about you. They say you're dangerous. There are rumors that you're from above the bedrock. Your friend Jack spoke of all these lands we've never heard of. I'm beginning to think they're true, and if they are... That can only mean trouble. You've already caused quite a bit of it. And you just arrived. Did you at least find what you were looking for? This weapon? Go on. Tell me. I'm afraid we need to ask you for more help. You must be joking. To ask something of me now? You've completely destroyed the sanctity of Fred's home. Yeah, uh, we need to find a cabin. The one where Romeo, Zara, and Fred used to hang out. Romeo? Did they say Romeo? The admin? Yes, the admin. Right now he's in our town, pretending to be me. We need to stop him. Problem is, we don't know where the cabin is. Just stop talking. You understand I have no reason to help you after what you've done. But if you really are from up there, there's something I would take in exchange. Get me and my people above the bedrock. You must know a way. Above? Binta, what are you saying? We don't know what's out there. It has to be better than this. We're safe here. And if Romeo... Romeo trapped us down here. He wants us to stay. I won't give him the satisfaction. You and your people are welcome to join us. Good. Sounds like you may have to do some convincing. Let me worry about that. The mycelium on this island has kept the monsters from spawning, and we've been safe here so far. But it won't last. Our only chance for a real future is up there. Zara's repairing the portal that will take us up. If you want to go through, meet us at the Oasis. Fred left this to me before he... <laughs> the needle points home. When he didn't come back, I tried to follow it, but got stopped at the gates to Romeoburg. They have a massive army, but I'm sure with your techniques, you'll be just fine. Keep it safe. 
Treat it with more care than you did Fred's house. I'm glad you decided to help us. I'm not doing it for you. You're our best chance of getting out of this place. I expect you to hold up your end. I'll prepare my people. You take these. Signal us when you're ready, and we'll be there. Great, you're here. We've got a new destination, so... You go on ahead. I, um... I'm gonna stay here, see what I can do to help. What? No, Jack, we have to stick together. Not this time. We're the best chance they've got to get out. Us and that portal Zara's fixing. I can do some good here. Help Binta convince them. Jack, what are you talking about? We can't just split up. Jack, you can't stay. We need you with us. Right. We're in this together, aren't we? You don't need me. These people do. Huh? Oh. Friends don't leave friends behind. It won't be for long. Once you get the weapon, we'll get out of here. Just like we planned. You're not even gonna let us try to change your mind, are you? No. Petra, I... Whatever. We'll see you at the Oasis. When you set off that firework Binta gave you, I'll come running. And hopefully I'll have a few new friends with me. Listen to Petra and just let it go. She will punch you. Okay, okay, fine, jeez. So, uh, what's the compass saying? We still heading the right way? Hang on, let me check. Seems like we're still on. Tracks out, everybody brace yourselves. <laughs> uh, uh. Rough ride. Man, the track is a complete wreck. Yeah, what's up with... What the? Oh no. Hi there, my name's Jesse. Uh, um, and you are? Uh, come on, seriously, who are you? I am a shadow, sent to eliminate all imposter Jessies. But, but I am Jesse! Oh, really? Then prove it. Tell me something that only Jesse would know. All right, you want to know something only Jesse could know? How about the fact that I wear blue underwear? I... If you're trying to make me so uncomfortable that I leave, it isn't working! Nope! Sorry, I'm not convinced. Sword time! Say your goodbyes, imposter! Are you kidding me? Why even ask me a question then? Yes. I'd recognize that exasperated confusion anywhere. You are the real Jesse! It can't be. Ivor? <clears throat> yes! It is I. Your friend Ivor. I'm a ninja now, Jesse! What? Yeah, what? 
It all started when I fell through a portal into some sort of strange world. Everything was all white. Master Shadow's domain. He claimed he was a ninja master, a practitioner of the shadow arts. At first, I wanted nothing to do with him. He was a very suspicious character. But eventually, after a lot of uncomfortable eye contact, he asked me, me, to be his pupil. I was confused at first because he didn't exactly present his credentials or curriculum, but I'm always open to learning. I'm a student of life after all, so I said yes. Before I knew it, I was punching trees, cleaning floors, all as part of my so-called training. At first it seemed pointless, but after I had punched a forest's worth of trees and cleaned miles and miles of floor, two things became clear. Sometimes, doing menial tasks can be an amazing way to learn martial arts. And sometimes, strange old men just like tricking people into doing their housework. <laughs> anyway, it all worked out because now I'm a ninja. And my newfound ninja skills helped me find my way to you. Are you... are you done? Please, please be done? Ha! Huh, yes! I suppose I'm doing a lot of talking. I just had a lot to say after all of that quiet and mysterious business. It's so good to see you. This is insane. Oh, you know you missed me. Nope, really did not. Not even a little bit? I see a smile. Nope, I'm not smiling. Not even a titty. No. Right back at you. You are like the last person I expected to see down here. Bottom five at least. What are you doing down here? Let me explain. You see... It all started when Harper and I returned from our vacation. We discovered that while we were gone, you had mysteriously vanished after fighting a prismarine giant named the Admin. Right. Only to return, having defeated this Admin and taken his amazing powers. Wait, what? Yeah, that's not right. I mean, you didn't believe it, right? I did it first. How could I not? Looked like you, sounded like you, except now you could fly around and had all sorts of cool superpowers. Jesse, a.k.a. the admin, gave me this and told me he had reprogrammed it to find the fraud, a.k.a. you. But with my new ninja senses, <clears throat> I could tell something wasn't right. Anyone who disagrees, anyone who questions Jesse, disappears. Oh, they must hate me. It's certainly not helping your reputation. No, but I knew that Jesse, the real Jesse, would never act like that. That's why I decided to try and use this opportunity to discover the truth. Luckily, it worked out because I would have felt terrible about killing you. Classic thing to say to your friends. I can tell you're being sarcastic. But you'd be surprised. Wait, 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 wait. If you weren't convinced, you would have killed me? The admins turned everything upside down, Jesse. It's very confusing up there. Speaking of whom, I can't spend much more time down here. If I don't get back to the prison soon and report in, the admin will know that something isn't right. That's perfect. You can make up a lie, and you'll never suspect that I'm actually down Which here. will buy you the time you need to find Fred's weapon! Hold on! How'd you know about I'm that? I'm a ninja! Anyway, that plan is all well and good. But what exactly should I tell the admin? It needs to be plausible, but dramatic. Yeah, believable, but entertaining. Realistic, but shocking. Within the realm of possibility, but against all odds. I tell him that I escaped, but that you tracked me down and took me out. Yes, I'm sure he'll be delighted by the description of our epic confrontation. Your final desperate struggles to cling to a fading reality. You're a real poet, Ivor. Ninja! I'm sorry I can't stay longer, but I must go. Go. We'll see you when we get back to the surface. Oh, wait. Can I borrow that amulet? Certainly, but why? Long story involving a portal and a magic frame, but it'll help us get home. Please hurry. It's getting dire up there. Smoke bomb! <laughs> ah! You saw nothing. We all 
just saw that, right? I, I didn't, like, hallucinate Ninja Ivor? Nuh-uh. Just when I thought that crusty dude couldn't get any weirder. And we're ready to roll. Come on, guys. business have you? I, uh, think we need to go into that building behind you. If that's okay. Uh, you know, it is in fact not okay, okay? Now just move along and don't go anywhere near the building or we will sick our army on you. Or we'll sick our army on you. We don't want to unleash the force of our army. And it's a mighty army. Mightiest army I know. Yes, we've heard amazing things about your army. Because we're the new recruits. But Jesse, we're not going to... Well, that's great. We should let him in. Because we really don't have Shut a... Shut it! <clears throat> we doubt your claims. <laughs> See this? This is my dowdy face. Hey, army! You too, Jeff! Let's take these invaders out! Uh, that's weird. It's not weird. The army just, just, uh, took a power nap. Now they're stronger than ever. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks to their nap. Yeah. We're not going to ask you again, all right? You just skedaddle before our well-rested army makes you regret it. They're gearing up. Yeah, it's the biggest army you've ever heard right here. Nothing is scarier about an army than its sound. Yeah. Binta sent us to join your army. Uh, yeah, real psyched about it. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Can we let them join our army? Oh, please. Oh, please. Oh, please. Can they be in our army? I'll be good. I promise. We don't have an army soup. Besides, remember what happened to our real army? They all died in that infernal challenge room. I'm sorry, but we can't open the gate. You'll just have to find your compass pathfinding jollies elsewhere. Really, it's for your own good. That building you're pointing at? That's Romeo's challenge. Yeah, it's nothing more than a death trap. The worst kind of trap. Which is why we vowed to keep everyone out. Even relentless travelers like you. I mean, you should thank us for keeping you away from it, okay? We're doing you a solid. Yeah! Duh! I escaped Romeo's highest security prison, the Sunshine Institute. I think I can handle some little challenge. Whoa! That's hardcore! Whoa, yeah. Anyone who escaped that place? Mad props. Open! The gate! On it! No, Soup. The... The gate, yet yeah, the, the real gate. Right! On it! Whoa, weird llama. She must smell Luna on you. This is a wasteland. Yeah, uh, having a town where everyone enters a mysterious challenge room that never comes out will do that. I, uh, <laughs> suppose that, uh, might affect population levels a little. Eh, we still don't feel good about permitting you in the challenge room, especially unarmed. But we'll trade you some gear if you can build something to scare off future unwanted visitors. You know, like a snowman. Or a huge flower. Just... <sighs> make something that will help us strike fear into the hearts of all who would see it. Keep people off our backs. Something to give us a little me time.
Oh, wow. That will give me nightmares. <laughs> well done. Yes. Wonderfully horrifying. Nothing organized, not alphabetized, not even sorted by material. This is barbaric. This is what we managed to salvage from the goofballs. Uh, I mean, residents who tried entering? Good luck. Oh, you poor doomed souls. must be through that door. Those pressure plates release waterfalls upstairs. It's so calculated, so precise. Judging by the multiple pressure plates, there's some complex engineering behind these walls. Wouldn't expect anything less from the guy who made an icy palace of despair. I think this was meant for the three friends, Romeo, Zara, and Fred. How do you guys feel about pulling some mystery levers and seeing what happens? Here we go. Welcome! Challengers, Zara, Fred, and me, Romeo! The admin designed all this just for his friends? Are you ready for the most thrilling, death-defying, heart Pounding challenge you've ever experienced? <laughs> Stage one. Begin! What are these things? No idea, but they don't look friendly. Great. Another golem. This time, made of magma. Ooh! Wow! What a showdown, folks! We're having the time of our lives, aren't we? Yeah. Okay, so poking fire might not be the best idea. We've got to try something else. Yeah. Take that, overgrown barbecue! Waterfalls! Jesse, water turns lava into cobblestone. Yes, we've got to get them under it. All right, golems, time to get soaked. It's mining time. Challenges. Stage one of 600 <laughs> complete. What? Stage two. And begin. There's no way we're making it to stage 600. Three levers got us into this, so. So maybe those three levers will stop it. Come on, radar. Let's bust that machine.
Radar, you have to break the machine. I'll cover you. On it! size. Anyway, so I guess it's time for another idea. We have gunpowder! TNT! Just gotta get some sand and we're set! Right, good thinking, Radar. Radar, get ready! Fire incoming! Just need four sand blocks, quickly! sides.
this is the first place down here that looks alive. Oh, oh, perfect. Huh. Oh. I'll meet you over there. I'm gonna go take a look around. So strange to see flowers growing down here. Someone set up these lamps after the bed rocking. How's it looking? Doesn't seem to be anybody around. Nobody inside. Should be safe. Safe-ish. Let's just get that weapon and get out of here. It's like the one we used to have back at the treehouse. Till someone, you, broke it. Uh-huh. Remember I used to read all the time? Now I barely do. Things change. Yeah. <gasps> Petra? What's wrong? Uh, n nothing. It just reminds me of... Uh, this, this story about puppies. Really sad story. You know me, I can't help crying about dumb stuff like that. Let's hear it then. I want to hear the story. Um, so, yeah, there there was this puppy named, uh, Pendergast, and she, uh, fell into a... Ah, uh, th there is no puppy! Doesn't this remind you of anything? Our friends? We used to hang out in that treehouse all the time. Now, we barely talk. Why does this keep happening? Everyone leaves, and I'm, I'm just by myself again. I, I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I see them one by one, just... Not everyone leaves, Petra. I'm not going anywhere. Yeah, but maybe that's the problem. What if I want to go somewhere that isn't Beacon Town? I'll just be alone again. Axel and Olivia are barely around. Who knows how much longer Jack's gonna stay with us. Didn't take long for the new Order of the Stone to fall apart, did it? My fault for thinking it would be different. Held together longer than most. Just because we have our own lives doesn't mean we aren't friends. We still care about each other. They'd be here if they cared. I, I know this isn't important right now. Let's just find the weapon and get out of here. Something's not right here. The beds don't go with the banners? Whoa, it's an observer block. What's it looking at? The beds? Petra, I think we should talk about this. I told you, it, it's not important. We have bigger things to worry about right now. We'll talk later, okay? Sure. We have to take down the admin. After that, we'll figure out what comes next. for Romeo. That did something. One down. Now the rest of these need to go in the right order. That doesn't seem right.
blue for Fred. Purple for Zara. Another one of Fred's journals. Dear Zara, if you're reading this, I'm already gone. I hid this in the one place I knew you would look for it. Fitting, the key to ending all this would be here, where it all started. This is the key to defeating Romeo. It says, hashtag potato451. Potato? That's the weapon? What are, what, what are we supposed to do with potato? That's not a weapon. It's a root vegetable, and not a very good one. I don't care how silly it sounds, as long as it works. Yeah, I guess. Just... potato? Or, sorry, I meant hashtag potato451. Take this word of passage and use it at the primary terminal. You can take away his power and end this. Word of passage, huh? I guess that's the potato. I still have hope for Romeo. He just wanted us to stay together more than anything. I know that's why he's doing this. Maybe I'm being foolish, but I need to know for sure before taking this step. Though I guess if you're here, I got my answer. Maybe someday we'll be together again. Your friend always, Fred. I kind of feel bad for them. Don't you? Yeah, I feel kind of bad for them, too. This wasn't easy for any of the admins. They really cared about each other. Everyone talks about Romeo like he was this controlling monster, but... Fred wrote that Romeo just wanted to keep them together. More than anything. Isn't that what I've been doing? Especially to you? I don't want you to feel forced to keep doing something you don't want to. I don't want to be that person. Or... or make you feel scared to tell me the truth. You are nothing like the admin. Don't compare yourself to him. Even he didn't start out that way. It just got... bad. I don't want to cross that line, too. I've been thinking a lot about what you said. About how friendship is my thing. But... I don't think I can just stay put, you know? In Beacon Town. But I don't want to lose you. You mean a lot to me, Jesse. I... More than anyone else, you've been there. And I... I don't want to leave if it means... You have to do what's best for you, Petra. And no matter how far away that takes you, you'll always know where to find me. I'm gonna miss you. I always knew you were a big old softy. <laughs> You'll never be able to prove it. We'll see. We'd better get that book back to the portal. Right. Let's go stop the admin. His days of being Jesse are over. did it. This is it then! It's time to call the others. We're getting out of here. What do you think you're doing? The portal is hidden for a reason. To keep things away. This is our way to get Jack and Nurm. We need them. Great. That won't be a burden. Sounding pretty adminish there, Zara. The weapon is what we need, not bodies to throw at the problem. People just complicate things, make everything messy, inefficient. No one 
No one gets left behind, ever. I mean, that's not exactly true. Yes, that furry one. The weird horse. You left her in the prison. But we, we need it... Well, from now on, then. Might be your downfall, waiting on others. Better be careful about that. As you can see, the portal's fully functional. You complete your end? Yep, I think this should send us home. And there's Fred's weapon. Potato. Hmm. Weird, right? I, I thought it was weird. Fred trusted him. He went to Romeo with the best of intentions and was... was... Ugh! There is no redemption in Romeo. None. He needs to be stopped. Once and for all. He deserves it. Worse. For this and everything else. It's the only way. If it comes to that, maybe. Jesse, we can't just take him out. There is no maybe. But heroes are supposed to help people, not hurt them. Romeo deserves what's coming to him. Fred should be avenged. Fred was the best of us, cut down. I can't let it stand. Going after revenge would make us just like Romeo, Zara. We're better than that. Yeah! Well, I guess we'll have to see if Romeo understands anything but violence. Romeo destroyed my world, and I wasn't there to help it. He's stolen it from me. There is no rebuilding. I have nothing now. It's really over. All the things we made. Here. I found this, and there are good things left, if you look for them. That you would... I... I'm not used to being wrong. Thank you. But we still need to move forward. <sighs> All right. Let's get this over with. Hand over that trinket of yours. Jesse? That's our way home! Oh, man. Everyone, get out of its way! are not the people from Fred's Keep. Those are mobs! Oh, just what we needed. To find me a bed when I had been so unhelpful. Go! Mobs don't stand a chance. Just do 
grab it, people! Ah! Eat this! Ha! Looks like all my training from the marsh hoppers of the Harlying Swamps totally paid off. Jack! Hey guys, pretty cool, right? For Fred's keep! For the future! Fight! Yeah! Yeah! Time to let my sword get a taste of monster hide! It's hungry! Yeah! to repair the building, otherwise that Enderman is never going to leave us alone. Uh. Nothing like a little pressure to make building fun. Us, but hopefully it'll be close to home. Everyone, we are leaving! Oh boy, radar. We're winning, for now. But they're not going to be able to hold that line for much longer. Especially not if that Enderman takes the portal apart. It's bad news. giant enderman radar it's too dangerous hey i helped defeat that magma golem didn't i i can really do something here and i want to help no way everyone's getting through the portal with that huge creep hanging around they get left behind the enderman is after me i can buy you time you're our friend radar we're not leaving you down here we have to stick together this is my time, Jesse. I know it. I have to do this. You're too important to me, Radar. I can't let you do that. I can't lose you. But the people... If anyone understands how to stay alive down here, it's them. <laughs> Best thing we can do for them is stop the admin. portals ever what nerm said that was not a quality three-point landing sorry nermy i'm a uh, give me a second we're in the roller coaster it's the old order's temple we did it we're back Oh, oh my! This... This is where Soren forged the amulet of the 
Order of the Stone! This dirt touched their heroic feet, and now it's touching mine! Oh no! Oh no, I'm ruining it! I'm not worthy! Oh, the dirt is warm. Does the dirt feel warm to everyone else? You're a hero too, Radar, just like the Order. You saved us more than once down there. I did, didn't I? It would have been nice to show Binta and the others what our world looks like. I hope they're okay. Did you see that? Okay. Somebody tell me I'm losing it. Is that... Beacon Town. Jesse, man, is it good to see you. Where are the others? <laughs> 